Hello there and welcome to the great outdoors. Oh, it is. We're always getting so much trouble when we come outdoors too. Either you know that, that or the scenery department <laughs> right. at our TV station has worked up a heck of a set. I'm well, we know you. that's not true. <laughs> I'm Larry Bly. And I'm Laban Johnson and welcome to today's Cook and Cheap. Cheap from the Lime Kiln Theater. Theater in Lexington, Virginia. Ooh, it is so beautiful. And we're here in the balcony <laughs> and they're down there rehearsing one of their great shows they do every summer here at the Lime Kiln Theater between Memorial Day and Labor Day, basically. And uh, they're very exciting. And if you ever come through Lexington down the Great Valley of Virginia, stop in and see them. We hope. I'm gonna do a spinach salad with curry dressing. Ooh, today. and I'm doing a white clam spaghetti sauce from Art Herberer in Collinsville, Virginia. And we're doing this because today's party is sort of an after the after theater. The theater party. That's so uh, these are oh, some things you could do. Oh, oh, no, 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 it's just some mirth and mayhem on the stage behind oh, yeah, us. They're having yeah. a frisky time rehearsing back there. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start. Okay, you go ahead. And all I got to do to start is I have about two pounds, give or take a couple, uh, of uh, spinach. And it has already been pre-cleaned. So, and you want to clean spinach real good because there's nothing ruder than crunching down oh, on a piece of spinach that has all that sand, sand in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and, and I'm just going to tear off the stem parts. Right. And I'm going to do that for the next seemingly hour <laughs> while well, you start your recipe. And I'm going to throw this entire box of spaghetti into our fiery boiling hot electric cook pot that we bring into service here oh, on the how show. how embarrassing. I just pulled off the stem and threw it in the salad and threw the big part <laughs> in the trash can. And you gotta this is get, not your day. You got to get your rhythm going, see? You got to make sure that you and throw the right thing at the right place. People say a lot of stuff about Larry, but if it doesn't have anything else, he's got his rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to put about a tablespoon of oil of young olives into our frying pan Young here. olives? Right. They're very young and tasty, very tender I remember olives. olive oil when she appeared here on stage one time. <laughs> right. She was fabulous. She was and fab now I'm going to smack the, uh, you know what, <laughs> out of two uh, large cloves of olives or uh, garlic so that I can get the <laughs> I was going to say, little they thing. look like olives to me. But. Well, I want to get these husks off of here. Well, it does it when they do it on TV. It usually just comes right off. I know. <laughs> this is not like any other TV, however. Right. This show mm -hmm. doesn't even resemble most everything. Well, else. I don't think anybody's ever cooked on location with a bunch of people in agony behind them. No. <laughs> All right, now wait. Oh, I'm gonna have the garlic fingers for the rest of the day. Garlic now I gotta, fingers. Well, I gotta say, I for gotta, such a simple job, I certainly am doing a lousy job on pulling these things off. You wouldn't think that would be that difficult. Well, I know. You know, at home, you have that extensive staff of servants <laughs> that does all this for you. I just sell them my own leaves. I don't mind telling you. I bring in a bunch. I think they're making fun of me back there. Yell about three <laughs> yeah, fine fat I heard boys. them say something about fat men <laughs> and a couple other things. <laughs> It's not their head that they're your head. Well, anyway, now seeing. I've got these two mince cloves. Ooh, of that smells garlic. Good, over here in this uh, garlic outdoors. Mm -hmm. Boy, that Ooh, smells. Doesn't great. that look good? And how are we doing over here? Oh, your spaghetti is just a blowing away. Oh. It's wonderful. Stir it up a little bit there. Well, so I did we'll... it again. I threw oh, the no. leaf in the trash can <laughs> and put the stem in there. I can't concentrate with these people behind me. Now, while this uh, garlic is sauteing in the oil. Ooh. Here, I'm going to open up two cans of clams. Now, now we, don't clam up on us. Normally, we'd use fresh clams, but the canned clams are cheaper. <laughs> and besides, and they're a little easier for outside. Right, and Art said use them, so that's what we're going to do. I'm not arguing with the, with the, the fine cook recipe. that sent this in. So we're going to open up two, two cans, and I think these are like six and a half or how many ounces? Six and a half ounces of clams. Is that Celsius? Oh, uh, no, it's Fahrenheit. And then, uh, let me get over here. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful spinach. Oh, this garlic smells so good. It does. I can't wait to leave and, <laughs> and have a decent walk around somewhere. through the countryside. Because <laughs> you're obviously not going to get a, a decent, decent meal here. here today. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, our garlic man. is just cooking away. This is low heat, too, incidentally, boys low and girls. Low, low heat, low heat. <laughs> And 
This takes forever, and I'm sorry, there's no shortcut. I mean, you literally have to get in here and rip out all these. If you ate one of those things, mm, 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 it's really gross. That's gross. Mm. Mm. So you got to get those off of there, wash them up real good, tear them apart. Two right. pounds is an awful lot, but I guess if you're having an after theater dinner party, you'd have right smart oh, sure. a number of people, wouldn't now, you? Now I'm going to drain these cans down into this pan. That's mm, right. We want to leave the clams in the uh, can right now. Just drain the juice down in there. That sounds like one of those rap songs. Put the clams, clams in the can. can. Put the clams, clams in the can. can. Anyway. Put the cans in the can. can. Oh, right. oh, I did it again. <laughs> I can't talk and do this. This is amazing. Well, I'm, I'm... you know, this. Now yeah, we've got one <laughs> bottle of juice of the clam. Juice of the fine yeah, they clam. Sweated the juice out of these clams and <laughs> bottled it here. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't shake it you up. You want to know something what? interesting, ladies and gentlemen. What? This is truly one of the prettiest days we have had in this state. For months. <laughs> Forever. I mean, are we, are it we lucky? It has rained so much in Virginia in the last three months. But you know why? Larry has fungus growing <laughs> from, well, oh, various locations. Oh, never mind. Locations. But anyway, you know why that is, though, why we're having such good weather? Why? Because we live so well, you and I. Well, that's Such true. virtuous lives. Oh, by the very very best. All right, now I got to have some parsley here. And uh, well, that's real pretty. I, you know, I bought this at the grocery store and got home and I thought, well, you fooled you had the right kind of parsley. Right, right in, in your, your backyard. Garden. I've seen it. Uh, well, Here's right. Bez, my business partner. I have tomatoes growing out the whatever right beside his office building and he goes out and buys it at the grocery store tramps on the things on the, on the way yes, to the car. Yes, but I've seen those tomatoes and you don't know where they've been. They are right low down this year. I don't know what's wrong with them. And I'm going to need a third of a cup of parsley over in here. So that's about, a, um, and have another handful of this stuff here. I wonder how they're going to feel tonight when they do the show and there's parsley all over the set. <laughs> Oh, I okay. worked in a theater one time where they had a kitchen right in the theater because they had to feed the actors. Mm -hmm. And it was just wonderful. You'd do the matinee and you could smell what you were going to have for dinner later on, <laughs> right on the stage. Right? I have now grown somewhat despondent and tired of doing this portion of the program. So what I'm going to start doing now, I have enough of this. You get the idea. I have enough now for our salads. And thusly, I'm not going to do any oh, more okay. of that. What I'm going to start doing is uh, Cleaning up these fine onions and chopping them up. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to put a teaspoon of oregano, which I also had grown in the backyard, but it's kind of gone over a little bit at this point, um, in here into this mixture of juices. And oh, I just hate to do it, but I'm going to have to throw in some wine here, about a quarter of a cup of white wine. Oh, you hate to do that real bad, do you? Oh, it just tears me up thinking I have to do it. I could imagine so. I hope I'm not getting shiny out here in the sun. <laughs> well, I can guarantee you that Excuse you are. Me. Mm -hmm. I hate it when I shine in the sun. And now I'm going to put in a little, just a, a tad of salt. We got lots of spring things out here today. Got spring onions. I love those. You can do this with scallions. You know what scallions and, uh, are. Oh, what are they? Well, they're onions. <laughs> Don't know what they are. <laughs> oh. Could I have the... Uh, Hold on to the stems because you're going to chop those up. I have brought along a fresh... Oh, uh, out of your new pepper my mill. My new pepper mill, because the old one just died Fritz on thing. me. Passed away. We buried it last week. Well, I think you forgot to put the peppercorns in here. Well, no, it's, it's coming out, isn't it? Well, it sure is. It's just doing it real fine. Now, if you want to ease up on it a little bit, it'll, it'll do it a little heavier. Uh, what you need to do is un undo that a little, just a little tad bit. I think he's got three peppers. I do not. Here. I just filled it up before I left. You know, I've done so well in preparing for this product. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now this sauce. I'd have forgot my car if I if I could have walked here. I'm sure. All right, now that I've uh, added Goodness. all that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to throw these clams in now. That is smelling so good, Laban. I, 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 what, what, is it, it just tearing you up? It's wonderful. I can't speak. It's so wonderful. Mm-hmm. All right. 
and the other can of clams, and then I'm gonna let you just have at it, Bly. Some woman with a man back there. Mm. Anyway, well, I'm just gonna start chopping some fresh spring onions and chop it real fine and make sure you also use some of the stem, some of the green stem. That's the best part of a spring onion, in my opinion. Of course, not everybody agrees with that. But I don't care whether they do or not. Is that you singing? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> he has learned to throw his voice. I've suggested that he throw it out. Anyway, now he's become a ventriloquist. You can probably hear in a <laughs> singing down. Cosmetic <laughs> surgery. <laughs> I hope I don't cut myself. I do this every yeah, time I yeah, go out in the field. We all hope so too. <laughs> I'm just chopping them up. Yo. <laughs> oh, it's so wonderful to be outdoors. Normally they have us locked up in a studio and there are a lot of smelly people around. Oh, it's just awful. But today we're outdoors and so wonderful. Do you hear those, what are those, cicadas? What do they call them? Cicadas. 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 Oh, that's the Puerto Rican. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's for all of our Puerto Rican viewers. And we do have some. They get us on a bounce out of Miami. Do they really? Yeah. H getting us on a bounce. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. They're not picking us up on a skip or anything. <laughs> no, on a bounce. On a bounce. Oh, no, don't eat it, please. Anything. No, we'll I, pay won't. You not I won't. I won't. I won't eat it. I drove my own vehicle so the staff wouldn't have to, you know, smell, you smell both of us on the way back with all this garlic and onions and stuff. Oh, it's just real hard to be exciting outdoors. <laughs> but I'm working on it. Well, my spaghetti is almost ready. Is you it? Get that I don't, I don't spaghetti believe it's ready. Really ready, <laughs> Freddy. I don't believe it's going to be al dente. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, is it? Oh, it is. Did you bring something <laughs> to drain it with? What? Did you bring something to drain it with? Yeah. You'll see. <laughs> I can hardly wait. I know he's forgotten at least one no, thing. No. I've forgotten six things, but I know he's forgotten at least. <laughs> We're going to dump it right over you in the You dog, pictures. I know. You forgot it, didn't you? You well, forgot no, no, the no, colander, no, no, no. didn't you? No, look, this is what I planned to do so I didn't have to carry the colander. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You wait. You watch. Now, I have chopped up these fine onions. Fangies. Fangs with the green tops on them. And I'm going to... Set that aside here in a little fine bowl, a real good quality bowl, which we brought along today. And now what I got to start doing is uh, I've got to take a, a tart apple. Oh, a <laughs> I thought you were going to take a sleazy uh, person somewhere. Apple, and I'm going to core it and peel it. So, so that's what I'm going to do right now. In fact, figure out what instruments to use. Here we go. I got a fine peeler. A fine peeler. Can I? <laughs> Which doesn't work either. Which doesn't work worth a hoot. Well, that's I, the dumbest thing i ever seen in my life. What are you doing? Listen to those people back there. What are they saying? They're talking about picking oh, up they the talk, school teacher. Are they talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to peel these things. And I'm going to have to chop them all up. Or down. I was I was out here one time and got attacked by a squirrel. You did, you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I actually reckon recognized you for actually the nutty my, person you were. <laughs> actually, my mama was attacked by a squirrel. I've been afraid of them ever since. It was a sad no, tale. I think you've been nuts ever since. There we go. Boy, I tell you, this is going to be a fine feast. You know, you wouldn't really need anything else than, other than this. Right. A nice salad and a nice pasta with clam sauce. And a jar of curry powder. And uh, all sorts of stuff. You are so mean, Johnson. I'm going <laughs> to smack you right over the edge of this cliff. We are literally on the edge of a precipice. Right. Two steps back and we'd be in the show. Well, edge of, <laughs> edge of a precipice perhaps is somewhat uh, precipitous. precipitous. <laughs> or perhaps even, I, I guess precipice does mean edge. Mm -hmm. So it's like saying we're on the edge of an mm -hmm. edge. You got it. But anyway, I hate to be verbose, don't you? Yes, and we hate it when you are. Well, I am now chopping these, this little tart apple all up. 
And this is just the salad part. And then we'll be doing the the part, the dressing, which is a fine curry I dressing. Can't do that. What are you doing? I was gonna just pour it. I out. knew he had forgotten something. No, he no, has no. been throwing it up my face all morning about just... how I forgot some things <laughs> that won't be mentioned on the air. Well, you know on when you air. go out, when you get a but these are intelligent people. They can figure out. They can what figure out that we have already put some of it in. Uh, well, let's let's take a look at how your clam sauce is coming along right now, Laban. Oh, it's coming along real good right now. I'm just dipping up the spaghetti here. But the sauce, the clams have heated through, and the sauce is actually ready at this point. I'm just warming it up to keep it nice and, and warm for the um, thing. And this sauce is just getting better and better and you better. You know what? Okay. I just love to jump right in there and mm -hmm. swim around. Well, we'd love to see you do it. it. Get in here. <laughs> hey, listen. Right, would you get on with that salad? I have finished chopping this <laughs> poor old tart apple, and I am just running out of space, but that's all right. Now I'm going to make the dressing, a real fine curry dressing, Laban. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have gotten that. Now this is all the salad part, and we're going to toss that with the leaves here in a couple of minutes. But right now I'm going to make the dressing part. And you start out with three quarters of a cup of plain yogurt. Well, you reckon you got enough? I remember, well, I, could, I couldn't find <laughs> You plain. always get the big size of everything so you can feed it to yourself and all your neighbors. They have a block party at his neighborhood after he does a show. I, last, I went almost halfway through last summer still on cooking cheap food. I didn't have to pay a dime for food for and months. And it's true. It's Don't true. Laugh. I it's fed true. tons of people. And the homeless. So anyway. Uh, no, you know uh, what? I know. When you go to buy right the, in off the street, When you, you go to buy the plane, they, you, they don't have it in a little uh -huh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Uh -huh, sure. Go Three ahead. quarters of a cup. The blueberry would have mm, been delicious. Boy, the that curry would have even been better. The curry yogurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now wait a minute, how much you got to use? Uh, three quarters of a well, cup. Well, I think you got about a cup and a half. Oh, there? I do not. You're a good one to talk. <laughs> one tablespoon. <laughs> I've seen those before many times on the air. Okay, now, now that's... how much curry you got in it? Uh, <laughs> uh, add uh, one and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise. Oh, Lord, it's sealed for my protection. There we go. Here, take oh, this weird in your nose. Right. One of those monocles on it. Oh, I don't have a spoon. Well, that's well, a, just well, get here, here, here. What? what? Oh, I do have I'm a spoon. I'm just trying to help you, boy. How much? One and a half. That's it. No. And then we got to put uh, two teaspoons of lemon juice. Anyway, I'm getting into it. I'm getting into it. I brought along a fine lemon. Do you have a paper towel yeah. that I could borrow? Just one, just great plenty. Just a little bit put on the end of this thing so I don't put any seeds into it. And always when you're, when you're gonna squeeze one of these, you take a knife or a fork or something, and poke some holes in it. I have made up one of those five uh -huh. little things just like you do in the yeah. big time restaurants. Uh -huh. And put some of that in there. That's a big, healthy one, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you need one of those once in a while. Okay, there's that. Do you think I need any more? I'll put just a little tidge more in How there. How much is supposed to be? Because I ended up putting terribly much of the yogurt <laughs> of in the there. Other stuff. So I'm having to make up this as I go along at this point. You understand what I'm saying. Now, I need a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of it. The sun's kind of in my yes, eyes it is. a little bit. The sun has moved over onto us. I hate that I when, I, tan. when I have to squinch up my and face. I know. And I'm not as pretty as I am. having thin and hair, and it's hurting the top of our head. Speak for yourself. I am. I don't have any thin and hair. I got what little I, know. I was born with. <laughs> what little you got left. And wait, you've already put that in. Oh, I've done that I already. Swear. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I've boy, Lord. never been outside um, before. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, salt and fresh ground pepper taste. Yeah, that's the pepper. <laughs> a little bit of salt. Well, I never filled that up. <laughs> <laughs> Put three peppercorns in and no salt. He's just showing off. <laughs> Here you go. That was for good luck. 
gosh, I hope I didn't throw that in their face. You did. That would you be awful, wouldn't it? You ruined a fine Martin guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Yogurt, mayonnaise, lemon juice, curry powder, Dijon mustard, Dejan and uh, vu. deja vu. <laughs> And I, it feels uh, like I've been here before. How and about what are you? those sunflower seeds for? I'm going to throw oh. those on top. You can, oh. uh, you can put can a I little start, bit of... Can I start dipping my sauce? Oh, please do. All right, I'm going to sauce my spaghetti here. Yeah, that looks real good. It smells like, just smells like just plain old yogurt to me. <laughs> but it isn't. It does good. Oh, it's good. Got I'm that. shocked. Has that delicious now, curry flavor to it. What I'm going to do here now is I'm going to run out of space. And then I'm going to run out of this theater. Now what I'm going to do now? Oh yes. Next thing you got to do is you got to put run on you out of Lexington. these apples and this stuff, and you uh -huh. got to toss it into oh dear your spinach. God. So oh. I have found a real neat way to do this outdoors. Except I left the ice cubes in there. <laughs> Well, that's all right. Just pick those we'll have out a later. Watery salad. No, we won't. It'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, this is really is wonderful. So I'm making uh -huh. it look just terrible, but it really and is. It really is. And it really is. <laughs> now I'm going to grate some fresh Parmesan on top of. It. I'm going to put a little of this dressing on top with the curry in it, if you remembered it. Go put that in there, and then a little bit. And now what I did is I brought along some leftover sunflower nuts, and I'm going to sprinkle some of those over the top just to give it a little crunchy consistency. You can use all kinds of nuts, but I'm using sunflower. And you know, I think it's those. amazing that you got that albino curry that didn't leave any trace of that yellow. That curry <laughs> is just amazing. It really is the curry I used for this, and just a little bit of fresh pepper on top of it, and. Biola, as somebody said to me one day. <laughs> Biola. Biola. Biola, there you have it. A very beautiful and lovely. Well, don't drop it in anything. Well, I'm hungry. But mm -hmm. you, isn't it good, though? It really oh, is yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Is he saying it's very good? Very yogurty. Delicious. Well, I want to try this spaghetti. Mm. I like then, that. That's good, really. Where's mm -hmm. mine? Mm. That's a little watery. Mm, mm. That's a little watery. I think maybe I dropped an ice cube in here. I'm telling you, though, it does smell good. And Laban has been so nice, he has made some for the staff. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Well, I tell you, it's wonderful. Both, really, the salad's wonderful, and, the, and this is good. Salad would have been better with a curry in it. But what are you well, going to do? You know, Miss Witch sweet thing that she is. Um, is she going to fly down? No, she's not. She couldn't I come with us today. The station refused to pay for her fare down For there. her crane <laughs> but, uh, that but, she needs. But she did say that she wants us to throw a cocktail party next week. Ooh. She's having a, a, a little special thing to introduce mm. one of her nephews, her little dorky nephew, <laughs> and he wants to, uh, she wants to have a party for him. Mm -hmm. I forget what his, I think his name is Luigi. And anyway, uh, <laughs> she wants to have a cocktail party, so I told her that we'd fix up some cocktail party uh, Good. Things, things for next. Mm -hmm. The mail is rolling in. It is. It mm -hmm. looks like one letter to me. Well, that's all I brought. Rolling in, one letter. Mm -hmm. Hi, fellas. Enjoy your show very much. The recipes are great. I couldn't get today's down fast enough. So would you talk more slowly? No, it doesn't say that. It says, please send me this, blah, blah, blah. Never mind the critics about your wiping cloth. I something never saw either of you bend over far enough to reach the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on cooking. Sincerely, Mrs. L. M. McLaren, I believe that right. is, from Cape Coral, Florida. And Otto Edwards from Bonita Springs, Florida, has written and says, please send the recipe I just saw. I watch your program regularly. And it Lord is indeed Lord. a pleasure to see you do something different to cooking, and I don't know yet whether it is good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Otto. This is a good salad. And then Port Charlotte, Florida's uh, mm. Civic Association wrote in and said, uh, well, this is from uh, Ben Grace, the manager of their Civic Association, said, I share my recipes with others who come to the Civic Association for covered dish dinners. Some of the clubs that meet here are from Pennsylvania, retired railroaders, uh, Wisconsin, Sons of Italy, uh, 
Rhode Island and the Illinois Club. So all of you gang down in Port Charlotte, keep watching and keep cooking with us. Well, there you have it. That's our after theater party, and it has been wonderful. Right. And thanks to the lime kiln people. They're wonderful. Oh, they've been it's so nice to work with. Very delightful. They didn't throw us over here or anything. Right. And uh, we hope you'll come back again next week. Party hearty. Bye. Ugh. Old woman, this meat's too salty. I never put in that one piece. Old woman, you must have put in half a bushel. Fetch me a drink of water. Hang a bit of that water up. Well, go out to the spring and get me some water. I'm about dead from thirst. It's too dark. Well, throw out your light bulb. Throw out your light bulb. Ugh. Old woman. This beat's too salty. Go out to the spring and get me some water. I'm about dead from thirst. Blue, blue. Oh, woman, this beat's too salty. Go out to the spring and get me some water. I'm about dead from thirst. Blue, blue. Oh, woman, this beat's too salty. Go out to the spring and get me some water. I'm about dead from thirst. Blue, blue. Oh, woman, this beat's too salty. Go out to the spring and get me some water. I'm about dead from thirst.